Well, hello there, learners. How are you? I definitely see you ramping up your reading, that is for sure. So as we continue into week two, our focus is on figurative language and on inferencing. You guys are crushing it with the figurative language. I already see many of you expressing all the various types of figurative language before I even discussed it. So that is absolutely wonderful. And we are focusing on the basic three steps. I am introducing a text, perhaps performing some of a read aloud, working on analyzing that text and modeling that for you, the whole thought process that is going into it as we are reading. We are not just reading the words on the page, but I know that you know that already as you are so clearly demonstrating it. So we will continue to do so with various text on the analysis of the text, focusing on figurative language and what it really means because it's not what it appears, right? Those words on the page are not exactly what it means. So with that, we will continue that and as well as the inferencing. And it's interesting to see that it doesn't always need to come from a text that we're reading. We make inferences every day. When we are speaking, we probably have people listening to us needing to make some inferences based on the things that we are doing and saying. And we were able to experience that today with the video clip. So again, I am happy that you did enjoy it. And it shows us that we can also make inferences in various ways. I have also mentioned to some of you that it is also good to think about that is just as important as being a writer. So kind of want to read like a writer. So just keep that in mind, even though that is not the basis for this class, that we can do some of these things or look at some of these things that the other authors are doing, we can do in our own writing. So just a little tidbit for today. Thank you so much for all of your hard work. You're doing a wonderful job and I'm really looking forward to seeing you tomorrow.